Hello viewers, I'm Parvez and this is our 18th video in PySci2 GUI development. So in the previous video we have learned that how you can create a, a simple queue completer. So you can see this is from the previous video that uh, we have uh, uh, created and uh, like this. In this video I'm going to show you that how you can create a slider in PySci2. So now let's get started. I'm going to copy my window code and paste it in here. Uh, I need to bring some change to this. Uh, first, I need to change this 300, the width and height to 250, and change the title to uh, PySci2 slider. So, if you run this, you will see a simple window. Okay. So now uh, we need to add some uh, classes. So we need a QH box layout. QH box horizontal box layout. Uh, we need a Q label, and we need a Q slider. Also, uh, I'm going to just change uh, the window uh, color. So, so you can use self dot set style sheet, and you can change back background dash color. For example, I want a red color. So if you run this, uh, you will see a red color background you can see our window background has changed now uh, we are going to uh, create a method in here so uh, let me just uh, create def uh, create slider first we need to create a horizontal box layout uh, because uh, in this video we are using two widgets, so we are using uh, a slider uh, with a, a label. So by this reason, we are going to add these two widgets in a horizontal box layout. So QH box layout. We need to create the object of uh, slider. So Q slider. Now for the Q slider, uh, you need to. Uh, so first, let me show you that uh, what's a slider. First, let me add uh, my this slider to hbox dot add widget, and I'm going to add uh, cell dot slider, and also I'm going to cell dot set layout to hbox dot, and now let me just call this in here uh, my method self dot create slider if I run this now uh, you will see okay so now you can see we have uh, a slider in here now we need to add some functionality to f uh, for example first we uh, right now if you see uh, we want to change the the, uh, the orientation of our slider so for example, in here, if self dot slider dot set orientation, and uh, also I need to import in here from PySci2 dot Qt core import Qt. Qt dot horizontal. Okay, Hor uh, horizontal. So now let me just run this. Okay, so now you can see this is horizontal, and we have horizontal. And uh, now we need to uh, set some more. So first, I'm going to uh, set the text tech uh, where I should see the tech. Self dot slider dot set tech position q slider uh, dot tech below so i want it should be in the uh, below so tech below now if i run this oh it's not tech it's text uh, sorry it's text below Now you can see we have the text in the below of our slider. Also, we need to set the interval. So cell dot slider dot 
set tech uh, interval I want it should be 10 uh, if you run this you will see that we have uh, uh, the 10 slider so 1 2 3 up to 10 and now we need to set the minimum so dot slider dot set minimum uh, not minimum height dot set minimum uh, I want it should be 0 and for the cell dot slider dot set maximum and for this I want 100 so now let me just run this okay right now uh, it's nothing doing but we will uh, use signal and slots for the functionality okay so now uh, we need to create just a label uh, we have created our slider so Q label and for the value I'm going to give it 0 also I want to set the phone cell dot label uh, so first I need to import Q to green here uh, from pi side 2 uh, import Qt GUI dot set font and Qt GUI dot Q font I want a uh, some serif font and it should be 15 okay so now you need to add this in your hbox layout dot add widget self dot label and if I run this okay, you can see we have the zero in here and uh, right now uh, it's nothing doing but we want when we change a slider uh, the value should be changed uh, for this we need to create a method or a slot we can call it and at the bottom uh, in here let me just create so diff change change the volume so let me create a size variable and I'm going to get the, uh, my slider volume so slider dot volume and after this I want to set that to my label so self dot label dot set text and I need to convert this to string and size okay after this we need to now connect this to our slider uh, we have uh, a value changed uh, a signal in a slider so we are going to connect our value change signal to the changed value uh, method so in here so dot slider dot value changed dot connect and so dot changed volume okay so now let me just run this okay so now if I you can see the volume is changing up to 100 so from 0 up to 100 so thank you guys uh, I will add source code to the video description if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel like the video and also share the video